How do I respond to an XNA game window resize event? Now, in a previous How Do I video, we demonstrated how to allow a user to resize an XNA game window. But with that example, we did not show how you could, through code, handle a resize event taking place. In this video, we're going to show you how. Exactly. And we, we saw that by seeing that our application code, which centers this image on the screen, does not respond when we resize the, uh, the window. We can see that the image is not stretching and is not responding to that window resize. Exactly. And let me just throw this in there real quick, Logan. For anyone who happened to jump right in on this video and they missed the other one, in that other How Do I video, we do talk a little bit about the very simple app that is set up here. Exactly. So to continue on now and look at what we would need to do to make our code respond to this event, what we actually need to do is subscribe to the window.clientSize changed event. If we do that, then we can be notified of any window size changes and respond appropriately. And we would do that by running this.window.clientSize changed, and we'll subscribe to that. And I'm actually going to use the code templates for this because it's already suggesting that we make a new event handler of specific type. So I'm going to hit tab to drop that in. So I make a new event handler. Now it's suggesting a possible name for that. And if we hit tab again, it will actually go ahead and drop that name in place and drop a method in place to act as the handler. So in this way, we can very quickly get our event handler set up. Now inside of this new window underscore client size changed method, all I'm going to do is update our screen width and screen height variables, the ones that were used in the video referencing um, size changing where we said allow user resizing. All I'm going to do is update these values since they are the values that are used later in code to control how the picture is drawn. We actually use screen width and screen height to scale the picture. And since drawing is occurring 60 times a second, it's going to pick up on these variable changes that Logan is about to Exactly. We have to wait to another draw anyway to see any kind of update, so it will simply lock into those new values and use them as it needs to. That's correct. So what we'll do here is we'll just update these values. We'll take our screen width field and we'll want that to be equal to the size of the new back buffer. I'll actually look to the back buffer itself to get the uh, dimensions for this. So what we're looking for here is um, graphics device dot presentation parameters dot back buffer width and height. So we're beginning with the width variable, so we'll plug in our back buffer width variable here. And then to save some time, we could probably just copy this line, paste it into duplicate it, and change our field reference to screen height and the presentation parameter to back buffer height. Once we do this, we should be able to run our game. Everything is centered initially, and as we resize the window now, the picture that we're drawing now responds to these resize events. So as we resize the window, we actually stretch the picture that we're drawing to fit the window. So we could maximize easily, restore, or even shrink the picture to a smaller size, and everything still lines up. So now we have our code actually responding to the new resizable window. Exactly. And with that, that is going to wrap up this How Do I.